I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. This week on The Rough Draft Diaries, we're returning back to the art world, meeting with a prominent figure in Toledo's creative community. My name is Mark Folk, and I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Commission. When you hear the Arts Commission, a few things may come to mind. You may think of the Art Loop or the Young Artists at Work program. Maybe you think of murals located around the city, but Mark says the commission is first and foremost an agency. The Arts Commission is the city of Toledo's local arts agency. It is the longest standing local arts agency in the state of Ohio. We were founded back in 1959. We exist to inspire a vibrant Toledo. Um, We work to engage the community at all levels in the arts and then elevate Toledo's story out to the state and national level. So the Arts Commission advocates for artists, whether they're looking to sell their goods at various shows and markets throughout the state or they're musicians who are interested in busking, aka street performing. But Mark isn't super surprised that the Arts Commission is known mainly as a platform for events and programs over its platform as an agency. I think by nature it's something that's going to exist because what we're really doing is providing access to opportunity, connection to community, and celebrating other people's work. So by the nature of what we do at the Arts Commission, we're always celebrating someone else and lifting a community and not necessarily talking about what we do on a daily basis in the office. Mark is the perfect person to talk to when you're wondering what's going on in the city of Toledo. That topic was actually one of the first things he mentioned when we sat down to interview. If you look at the landscape, there are about 300 creative businesses in the city. That No, it's 390 creative businesses in the city. They just updated the data that employ about 3,000 people. So if you just look at the job sector, Um, That's more people than Libby Glass and the North Toledo Assembly Plant employ combined. You see the creative community at play in a lot of different ways. One of the ways we're most proud of is in the creative placemaking work. In the last several years, as downtown has kind of solidified and started to bounce back, we've been working with artists in that next tree ring of neighborhoods to engage youth and community in those neighborhoods to help them articulate and celebrate their identity and connect that back to what's happening in the city. And we're seeing event attendance much more reflective of our city, which is really exciting for us. As you can tell, the city of Toledo plays a large role in the health of the Arts Commission. If the city is doing well, the commission flourishes. If the city is suffering, the creative community suffers along with it. Mark has seen these changes firsthand as he grew up, went to school, and graduated here in Toledo. Uh, My father used to bring us downtown as little kids to go get cheap haircuts at the Ohio Barber College, you know, go to Macy's and get some candy from the candy counter, burn the sugar off on the escalators, and then, if we were lucky, a comic book from Leo's Book and Wine. So I watched kind of the last mom and pop version of downtown to those late 80s, early 90s years where the majority of downtown was boarded up to, you know, the renovation that's happened with Owens Corning, the Mud Hens, and then this creative community settling into all these nooks and crannies of abandoned buildings and really using their collective identity to draw people back downtown. So it's it's changing and accelerating all the time. And I think that's one of the things that we all find here working at the Arts Commission is really exciting as we get to see what's coming maybe six months, a year ahead of before it happens. So the next year is even going to be more explosive than the last. Although Mark is excited about the future of Toledo, he is also aware that certain things need to change for the city to reach its full potential. I hope we're able to establish Um, some kind of funding stream for arts and culture. Toledo is the only major metropolitan area in the state of Ohio that doesn't have some kind of centralized funding mechanism for arts and culture. I would like to continue to elevate that. I really hope in the next five years uh, as downtown bounces back and that starts to stretch out that artists and all the work that they've done to lay the groundwork for what's happening are embraced and held in place as that energy happens. And then in the next five years, I really hope we become a little less segregated in the arts and that there's more diversity in everything that's happening in the city. Regardless of what Toledo looks like in 20 years, Mark believes the arts community will play a big role in supporting, promoting, and establishing the city of Toledo. 
it's the soul of place. I think that the artist and the work of creative organizations and special projects, all these things make us who we are. Um, it provides social cohesion. I think it's super important that we stay focused on the artists. They're the building blocks of culture, which is challenging because every artist approaches it in a different way. Whether it's you know youth artists or young artists at work or creative entrepreneurs like Betty over at Handmade Toledo or the work uh, that Brian Carpenter and Paula Baldoni are doing around contemporary art Toledo, or some of the neighborhood artists that we're just beginning to get to know a little bit better. It's a really uh, polyphonic community, and I think that that means they all have communities, and that there's just all these opportunities for connection to really strengthen the soul of the city and make what we have here more well-known nationally. I'm Haley Taylor, and thanks for listening to this episode of The Rough Draft Diaries. 